In this video, I'll show you how to play World Up My Ass by the Circle Jerks off the group sex record. But before we begin, remember to like this video and subscribe. I'll be posting new videos every week and leave a comment. Um, let me know what you like, what you don't like, and what you want to see next time. And here we go. All right, so the verse part is uh, pretty straightforward. Actually, the whole song uh, rhythm-wise is pretty straightforward. Uh, punk song with just power chords. So you're going to play an E power chord up here. It's a two-note power chord. And you're going to use alternate picking because it's kind of fast. Um, and then the next chord is going to be a D sharp. And then you're going to go to a G sharp. All two-note chords. And the rhythm is played like this. pretty much it for the verse. Now the last time through the verse it played a little differently. Um, it just kind of ends differently so it goes like this. And that's right before it goes into the chorus. And then for the chorus it's again more power chords. You're going to start off with an A power chord but a high A up here to an E. And it repeats that twice so it goes so one more time. Then you're going to move down to a G and then a C. So all the way through. So slowly. And um, that C is pretty quick, it's, so it's kind of hard to hear on the record, but it's definitely two notes. So um, going from the verse to the chorus uh, all the way through, um, one time I'll show you the whole what song. into the solo so the the solo all the way through and this is pretty ad-libbed but uh, it goes it sounds something like this and so um, this, this solo is kind of comprised of three parts um, and I, I would guess that that on the record it was just kind of ad-libbed um, basically thrown together kind of a combination of these these uh, the two main parts and then the ending part. So the first part you have is like a Chuck Berry style bend where you're going to bridge your uh, index finger over the 12th fret on the B and E strings. And then you're going to bend with your ring finger on the 14th fret of the G string. So it's like... So slowly it's like... Um, and so that's going to be kind of the basis for the solo. And then kind of mixed in in kind of random fashion almost um, is going to be this style part where it's you're gonna play and it's this is a little tricky but you're gonna keep your finger, index finger bridged over the 12th fret on the B and E so you're gonna hit those two notes and then you're gonna do a pull off from the 14th fret to the 12th fret on the G string and so this requires you to kind of you're gonna have your finger bridged over the 12th fret on the B and E strings, and it kind of, it requires you to kind of roll onto the G string when you do that that pull off. That's the way I like to play it. Now you could also play it with your your uh, index finger bridged over those top three strings, and it's definitely one way to play it. For me, it's more comfortable to do that kind of roll on. Um, so, so then you're going to do that, and then you're going to go down to the 14th fret of the D string. So, and you can use alternate picking. Um, it's pretty like kind of, uh, I wouldn't call it sloppy, but it's just kind of like you're playing kind of punk rock and hitting a bunch of different notes. So. Uh, 
Um, so just kind of mess around with kind of mixing those two parts back and forth um, together. And um, you can listen to the way it sounds on the record. It sounds like it's kind of mixed in a little bit at first and then that, that pull off um, pattern, it gets mixed in a lot more at the end. And then at the very end, you're just gonna bend. Again, you're gonna have your index finger bridged over the 12th fret on the B and E strings. And you're gonna be pushing with your ring finger on the 14th fret of the G string. And then you're gonna also, as the as the, the solo kind of trails off, you're gonna also push up on the 12th fret of both those strings. So it goes here. And you're gonna kind of raise it up to, to kind of finish out the solo. So. So again, you're going to kind of play these parts. So those, those three elements mixed together and you can kind of ad lib, listen to the record and see how it sounds and kind of mess around with it. So that's it for this video. I hope you liked it. Remember to like this video and subscribe on YouTube. I'll be posting new videos every week and leave a comment. Let me know what you like, what you didn't like and what you want to see next time. And I will see you guys next time.